This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its seventh year. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey, everybody, this is Alex. Big red letters there, the white letters, and the ramble. That's the name of the program. We're here until midnight tonight, and uh, here we are. Yeah, it's, uh, it's Tuesday, and it must be uh, uh, Tuesday, I guess. I guess. What is this? Papers here. Mm-hmm. Bought an iPad, and they, 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 they send you with all this... Uh, they give you all this stuff and it really doesn't amount to anything but you know what happens every time wait a minute, let me open this up here let this open up gee it doesn't even look like it opens up uh, but they always um, hmm that's strange look at this look at this it doesn't uh, doesn't uh, open up uh, let me see here oh here we go Every time you buy something new from Apple, whether it's an iPhone or it's an iPad or it's a watch or whatever, you get these. <laughs> and I can't say I've ever I've ever used them. Okay? So well, anyway. But anyway. I got myself an iPad Pro. I'll talk about that later if I feel like it. Anyway, how are you all? Uh, glad to see you. And, uh, you know, this is the night when we, uh, we admit uh, uh, a, a, a friend of ours uh, who will then start talking about things which will drive us crazy. And uh, what, what, what picture do you have in back of you there? Uh, all the Gavin Newsom voters. I, I see. Okay. Well, yeah. How do you think that's going to turn out tonight? Well, if the polls are right, yeah. uh, and sometimes it's the Hungarians, but right now it's the polls, yeah. uh, put Newsom up 20% to, uh, to stay the course. Yeah. Uh, if the polls are wrong, then they've got all of these guys to put their vote in tonight. I see. Okay. So you're, you're saying that if, if uh, you're... You're one of those Republicans that honestly believes that if Newsom doesn't get recalled, that it's a fix. No, the, because he won't. Yeah, he won't get recalled. It's a fix. That, definitely. Uh, oh, okay. It's in. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I love it. It seems to be the constant thing the Republicans are saying every time there's an election. If we win, it's legitimate. If we lose, it's been fixed. Oh, wait a minute. What did Hillary say when she lost? Well, she didn't lose. Well, she lost because Trump sat in the White House for four years. Yeah. So yeah. they're she, saying the same she, thing. She never griped about it. She oh. just said, oh. no, she never asked for a re, uh, you know, recount and uh, all of that. She went off into the woods and started crying. No, no. She, she took it with dignity. She got out. She said, okay, I, I, I know I won the popular vote, but that isn't the way we run things in this country. Goodbye. I'll see you later. This is a revisionist history. Wait a minute. That's not revisionist history. When did she try to ask for a recount? Uh, she didn't ask for a recount. What she said, she didn't even show up the night that she lost, uh, and she refused to. Well, because it was uh, supposed to be a victory party, and she didn't win. So she didn't go to a victory party. I- Never, you know, I've seen people you making it. You know, you know what you're doing is you're going back to something that happened four years ago that isn't even hit, isn't even important now. Yeah, but what's the difference? Uh, you know, they all whine when they lose. You know, if, no, if, no, 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 no. I mean, we, you know, if we lo- look, uh, uh, look at what Gore did. Gore said, "Okay, look, you know, enough of this. I, yeah. I throw in the towel." After a month, and the Supreme Court went against him. No, they, no, I didn't throw the towel in for a month. But you got to admit the vote was awfully close in Florida, and it needed a recount. Well, they got it. And okay. Well, they got it, and when it came out against him, he disappeared into the woodwork. 
you know, all of these problems that they're having in Afghanistan, and I want to talk about Apple products in a minute, but well, I believe that uh, we wouldn't have been in the Afghan war, we wouldn't have been in Iraq if it wasn't for Clinton, uh, uh, President Clinton, because he had a shot at getting bin Laden. And instead of getting bin Laden... It's he, bin Laden. Um, by the way, it's bin Laden. Eh, bin, Ben... You know, uh, you're. I know you. You're a little sensitive to that because your name is Ben. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so you know. Uh, so maybe his name was uh, uh, Ben Bennett. You know. Uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, if he would have, if Clinton would have gotten him when he had the intel and supposedly the opportunity to do it, uh, we may not have had a 9/11. We may never have had a 20-year war. Well, that that was due to well, Obama. Uh, what, 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 you're just doing a whole bunch of revisionist history here. Well, that's what I'm saying about you. No, I'm not saying anything. All I'm saying is, is that why is it? It seems that whenever that the 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 rule is that if the Republican wins, it's okay. But if he doesn't win, the fix was in. Well, it's just. If the Republicans lose, they say the fix is in. If the Democrats okay. lose, they say the who's, fix is in. Who, 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 who's going to win tonight? Uh, Newsom. Of course. Okay. So you admit to that. No, I, I you know, you ask me who's going to win. It's not, I don't. And what you, you know, say, the, 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 there's a 20% difference right now? I saw 17, but. It's, close enough. Yeah. Yeah. You know, as long as there's one vote difference. How do you feel about the fact that $325 million in taxpayer money was wasted on this thing? I think it was well spent, you know, to, to get to oh, get a criminal oh. out of out of out of the uh, governor's he, house he, in California. Oh, he's a criminal. How's he a criminal? Uh, you know, he's 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 on the take from the lobbyists. Uh, he doesn't wear his mask at dinner. Uh, you know, there, there's a there's a number of things that, uh, yeah, you know, all of this money that's Phil, being Phil. supposed you're, you're to be used. Especially, home. You're especially annoying tonight. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, what I actually wanted to talk about. Now, I'll oh, give wait you a minute. Let me finish with this first. All right. Go ahead, because okay. I'll give you a different. Picture. Okay. Uh, I would, if I lived in California, I would be insane that $325 million was wasted on this whole thing which started, by the way, the day after Newsom got into office. Yeah. Right? They were already having people sign petitions. I mean, this, is, this insanity has got to stop. It just costs your okay. country. Your, your, your state can, could have used that $325 million towards reclamation from the fires. You know? How, uh, now, what about... This, uh, you know, how much money did they spend on the Trump Russia probe that ended oh, up with God nothing? Damn it! So that's not where it, it's it's apples and oranges. We're talking about a recall election that just is insane and costs the state a lot of money. That's what and, they wanted to it's, do. It's your Trump. it's your tax it's your tax dollars. Don't you? I'm, I'm glad they're finally spending it on something I want. Oh. You know, hey, uh, do you think I noticed that you bought another iPad? Uh, how many of those do you have now? Well, the last one I bought, I bought four years ago. Oh, OK. And the technology has since improved greatly. This has like the M1 chip in it. It's very fast. Uh, it's um, it's uh, it's uh, it's amazing. I can actually do video editing on it. It's it, it's that good. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, I'm using a, uh, what do they call it? The iPhone 10. Yeah. And I'm, I'm being pushed to get a 12 or a 13 by my carrier. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe that they're doing shit in these updates to cause my phone to not be able to connect to the internet, to the, for the keyboard not to work, uh, thing, things like that. You know, how can those things happen? If they're not programming it as uh, well, I, I, I just I just I just upgraded to uh, I, I just upgraded to you know this new iPad and uh, it works just fine. It's it's right. not making me do other things. What is that? I, because you got a new iPad. No, that no, that's not it. You know what I did? Right. 
Over the weekend, I did something that I was reticent to do. I have in my computer, what, 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 what uh, operating system do you have currently? Uh, whatever the biggest one is, uh, uh, Big Sur or... Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Well, I had Mojave in mine for the last two years. I haven't upgraded at all because the one time I did upgrade to like, uh, I don't know, what was the last one? Catalina. And yeah, that one I had problems. I had problems with I had big problems with it, and I, I just didn't want to take the chance on the machine that I do this show with every night of, of having it just not work, okay, or something go wrong. So finally I decided, and we're already coming up on the new one, which is, I think, Monterey or something like that. Uh, but I uh, decided uh, maybe it's time I give it a shot, and I'll do it on a weekend so if things start screwing up on me, I can fix them before the weekend is over. You you have a second machine that you can run the show on as a backup? Not really. I mean, I could, but uh, there are ways I could do it, okay? But I really need this machine. Okay, so I upgraded it. Not a single problem. Really? Nothing. That's because you waited. Nothing. And uh, well, there was there was one little problem I found tonight when I tried to start Butt, which is a a backup I use for recording the show. Uh, it it just questioned, do you want this to go on a on a on a, a ancillary drive or whatever? And I went yes. It was information that it needed that it didn't used to have to have before. Okay, but other than that, easy peasy. Well, you know. uh, I had problems. Uh, I lost the software for my camera, for the uh, uh, you know the video camera on the computer. Mm -hmm. uh, when when I upgraded, I had but I upgraded right away, and I had all all sorts of issues running certain programs. And uh, now everything is working, but uh, I think that what you did was waited until all the bugs were out of the system. But you see, I think what they're doing is they're trying to force me. I got the original uh, 10, the uh, iPhone 10. I got the first one that came out, mm. and they said that it was going to be a limited uh, uh, offer. Oh, yeah, that was the one that was called uh, the X. No, it was before the – well, maybe it was the X. The uh, iPhone X, yeah. The very first one. And they said that – Limited. Uh, it was going to be limited. Right. You know, limited edition. Right, exactly. So I, I bought that, and I'm not ready to, to get another phone. I'm tired of buying phones all the time, and uh, you know, especially this one's still working. But what's happening is uh, I go to use the keyboard because I don't like to talk into the phone to get it to type. I dictate. I, I dictate. Yeah, well, and when I dictate, I don't know what it is, but maybe it's my pronunciation. But You just have to get used to how to do it, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And, but the keyboard freezes up. So uh, what I have to do is then go to dictation, say a word, and then I can switch it back to the keyboard and start typing. So I, I think that Apple is screwing with me and Verizon uh, to try and get me to buy the, the newest phone. I would say that's not the case as much as the fact that your phone is a couple, quite a few years old and uh, it, it's not that they're screwing with you so much as as you use a particular piece of equipment like an iPad, iPhone, whatever, it gets more and more kind of cluttered with junk and everything like that. What you really have to do is probably just reinstall everything into your phone, which is pretty simple if you just back it up and right. then you say, the okay, huh? Doesn't the backup carry all the problems with it? That, no, uh, no, no, not necessarily, no. And no. I think that would probably clear it up. Also, I mean, the, the, obviously the phone is, what, three years old, four years old? At least, maybe even more. Four, maybe when, five. Uh, when did it first come out maybe with the it's, not, it's I'd say it's somewhere around five years. Yeah, that like, makes Like, there's sense. a new iPhone coming out that I'm thinking of getting, mainly because the camera is even better than the old one. You know, um, well, then that's the other problem is the better camera 
has so many megapixels. If you send too many pictures in an email, they won't send. What? So, well, let's say you, you're trying to send 15, 20 pictures yeah. and you try to send it in an email and yeah. they're all eight megapixel in this camera. Yeah. Then there's too many megapixels and the email won't, uh, won't send or it'll get bounced back. It'll say that uh, it, it can't take that larger file. Yeah. But anyway, uh, I, uh, uh, boy, nobody's, nobody's listening, uh, listening to 22. Me. Yeah, 22. That's because you're talking about technology. Yeah. No, well, nobody gives a shit. If we weren't, it'd be 15. So, uh, the, so, okay, let's, let's get away from technology. So the, our friend Gavin Newsom is hopefully going to get a wake up, wake up call, but if he wins, well, are you saying, he's going to become more draconian. I know. Well, what I'm saying is, is that I think you Republicans have really asked for it because if he lost, of course, you know, you'd be happy and you'd be happy having happy fizzy parties and Larry Elder could then ruin the state. Uh, on the other hand, um, if he wins and it, chances are he's going to win, if he wins by a large amount, that's going to be kind of a mandate for him. You know? Maybe, but he won by a large amount originally, uh, you know, because the state is so uh, blue that they would vote for uh, Genghis Khan. If well, was you know, it's not completely blue. You go down to Southern California and it's quite conservative. There's one county, Orange County, that's, uh, that's uh, a big voting block yeah that red but the rest of the areas uh, bakersfield uh, eureka all of these areas i i believe that they're uh, in the valley that that's all red but the population's pretty sparse right so they're not able to carry the uh the, yeah. the power that uh, the blue areas carry mm -hmm. you know uh, yeah people are fleeing the state uh we've lost a congressperson uh, that should be the wake-up call. What do you mean you've lost a congressperson? Uh, because of the uh, last census, I believe, mm -hmm. the, uh, the amount of uh, congresspeople that this state has allowed is, is, is one down. So the, uh, because the population is leaving, a lot of the population is leaving the state. So this is the first time California has actually lost mm -hmm. uh, representation uh, because of uh, less less people coming here and less people staying here. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, is now there's uh, some other stuff that's happening in the news. Vaccine mandates. Uh, Cuomo put in a vaccine mandate in New York, and there was a judge that uh, overturned that. Uh, do you know anything about no, that? No, I don't. Didn't hear a word about it. Oh, okay. Uh, yes. So his. Uh, one of his last uh, actions as governor uh, has been uh, stayed uh, by... Wouldn't you uh, think that if that were the case, I would have heard about it? I don't know. I heard about it for the last uh, Where did day. You, where'd you hear about it? Uh, just the general news. Where, Actually, where, I would, What's general news? You know, I don't know. I, I was listening to KNPR in the car today because I... Uh, I, I had a credit card that got compromised. KNPR. There is no KNPR. Yeah, it's, uh, it's what's, KQED FM. Yeah, but uh, it was 90.5. I don't know. Uh, this one was in Sacramento. Mm -hmm. um, and so I, I was listening to it, and uh, they were talking about that as, as well as some other things. But uh, my Sirius Satellite uh, mm -hmm. uh, bill didn't get paid because the credit card that I was paying it with, and I, I thought they were going to bill me once for the whole year, but they were billing me every month. Mm -hmm. And so when that card got compromised and they sent me a new card, I didn't bother uh, re-upping uh, what it was. Yeah. And, um, so they, it got turned off today. So um, I thought about it and I said, well, maybe I won't listen to... Fox News all day. I'll I'll try something different. Okay. And uh, so, so the you know a couple minutes I was in the car today. I, I listened to uh, N NPR. Is that is that what it is? It would be NPR. Yeah. Yeah. N NPR. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
you could tell that there was there was bias in their voice when they were talking about the recall and 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 other things but uh you might want to google or or see that your vaccine mandate had uh, como's vaccine mandate had been uh, stayed or overturned I, I it was um uh, a new york judge i but haven't heard anything about that these, these things are being challenged all across the country the vaccine mandates and uh it, it seems as though uh there's uh, some stuff uh, it's taking uh, there's traction with it you know people people are so up in arms over if you don't if you don't take the vaccine you're killing me but uh, you know in texas there there the rest of the country seems to be up in arms with texas over the fact that uh, they want to protect uh, a child's life uh, to live after uh, was it eight weeks or six weeks something like that yeah yeah so you know uh that's you know the women have burdens and and one of them is that they they bear children and uh you know they they have to have some responsibility with that mm -hmm. uh if a, if they can find the fetal heartbeat in in a uh in a fetus why yeah yeah i was and i'm just trying to see so i'm having trouble with my uh, yeah. with my with my uh uh with my uh, what do you call it oh with my with one of my cameras here i don't understand why you don't use uh, like 35 millimeter cameras uh, uh with uh, whatever that box is that you need to convert and this way you you run uh like a 35 millimeter or a video camera uh, yeah yeah use those instead and you can use better lenses well the, no, no, because i don't do it because it is uh, it's more trouble believe it or not uh -huh. and, and it doesn't give you that better I mean, I've got very good cameras here. Hold on a second. I got to just do a few things here. I'm sorry, folks, but uh, all of a sudden my my machine was going all bad on me. And, Big sir. Uh, hmm? yeah. Big sir. Yep. 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 Well, it's it's uh, no. I've got I've got a problem here. Hmm. With. Uh, um, something. Oh, what the hell? I don't know. Every I'm I'm looking at you on uh, YouTube. No, no. But if I were to go with my, uh, 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 let me see here. Hold on a second. Come on. Hold on. Oh God, bless it. I just can't stand this anymore. I'm about ready to give up on all of this. Uh, let me see here. Um, uh, uh, so I go here. Okay. There we go, and uh, hmm, I have no idea. I going back to the basics, just do an audio show three yeah. nights a week and uh, a, a video show one night a week. Yeah, well, that, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Let me Is see he here. I'm trying to. I'm trying to get my. Uh, for some reason, this is not. Uh, not I'm the out of sync for like a second. Well, there we go. There's that. Okay, so it's this one. Okay, here we go. And I've got to go over here. Uh, I've got to go. <laughs> you know, five people entered uh, uh, there we go. U.S. today from Afghanistan that had the measles. Okay, my phone, it's it's better now. Yeah. I, had, I had a problem with the, uh, with the camera. Was a little bit out of sync on my, see, it's on this one. Okay, mm -hmm. hold on a second. Let me show people what I'm talking about. It was on this one. This camera is a little off. It's a little out of sync. See, so anyway. Yeah. Do you think that could be the internet, or it's your? I camera? don't know. It's something wrong here. I don't know. I'm, yeah. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of the technology. I'm tired of putting out fires all the time. Uh, in a couple of weeks, I'm going to get my eyes done. I'm taking a week off, and maybe after that, I'll never be back again. Yeah, you know. you know you ought to take a vacation. You've you've put a lot of work into this show for a very long time, and yeah. I know it was COVID and everybody was locked down. But uh, yeah. you know maybe it's time you go to Greece or something. You know. Well, no, I, I believe. Where am I going to go? Where? Tell me where in the world I'm going to go on vacation. How about a spa? You, you know? know, I mean, what country is safe for me to go to? 
Okay. Uh, well, Australia, they won't let you in. And then you could get bitten by a deadly spider or snake. Yeah. But uh, what's Japan like now? Japan's horrible. Oh, really? I thought uh, originally they weren't having a lot of problems. What do you mean they weren't having a lot of problems? Japan, South Korea. They, uh, held, during... they, they held the, uh, the uh, what do you call it, the Olympics there, and nobody wanted to go. It was so bad. Right. That's right. Uh, they didn't have an audience. And where am I going to go? England? Where? Uh, France? Where? Um, you know, no. it's, just, it's just not, there's it, nowhere to go. But first I've got to have the eyes done, and I'll yep. be all black and blue for about two weeks. You, know? you ever been to Monaco? Yeah, of course. I like Monaco. I I felt so safe there. They have cameras everywhere, and the police sit yeah, in these. Monaco is like you sneeze and you're out of Monaco. Well, that's okay. You know, I mean, what? I don't want to go to Monaco. Uh, I I like that area of France. Well, I, I like the Côte d'Azur. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's There's you a know, little town there that I really love called Ez. Ease, easy, easy. No, as it's pronounced. Yeah, there's there's a castle, not a castle, but a fort, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, up up on the hill. Yeah. I walk all the way up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, as very nice. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so yeah. you wouldn't want to go back to those places. I mean, nobody seems to be packed in next to one another like you saw on that the C one forty seven that was taken off from Kabul. Yeah. Uh, Way to probably Qatar, Qatar. I don't know. They, everybody calls it Qatar, and and it's it's actually pronounced Qatar, I believe. Yeah. 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 And it's as and it's Aix en Provence. Yeah, Aix A U X. No, A I X. A I X. Yeah. Boy, you you really are well traveled, aren't you? Yeah. A U X. Ox. I had I had uh, uh, a badge that a cop gave me in in uh, Avignon. Avignon, uh, that uh, that is the where the phony uh, popes were. Yeah, well, uh, that was the that was uh, the Vatican. French pope, the French popes, yeah, the phony popes. And then what happened was uh, there was a war going on in Italy, so they moved the papal see to France. And then when that little war was over, they wanted to move it back, and France wouldn't let them. Oh. You see. So, um, uh, that, so then you have what they call the phony popes. That's what I refer to them as. And they well, had a phony, they had phony popes for about, I don't know, 30, 40 years or something, and finally they gave up, and they just... Yeah. More than one? Huh? More than one? More than one? Oh, yeah. Yeah. A couple of them. Yeah. I went to that uh, Pope's Palace, and uh, no, the pep, uh, the uh, Palo du Pape, du Pape. Yeah, I believe. I, uh, I don't remember anymore. It's called the Palo du Pape. Well, uh, hey, I, I've been on this, uh, uh, trying to go on this. And it's not a diet. The, this this guy. Here we go. Watch the numbers go down. Yeah, well, they're they're trying to get me to pre-prepare my meals, and uh, I'm telling the guy, just tell me what to eat, and I'll eat it. And he says he won't do that because he needs me to figure it out on my own. And so I'm I'm sort of torn between uh, giving up and and quitting. And you know, I just decided that I don't like quitting, and I'm not going to. So. Uh, I'm having these uh, these issues around trying to get the uh, the coach to to you know give me the give me the golden key and he won't give it to me. Yeah. So, uh, do you think uh, we really care? Yeah. Well, he said that I can get rid of all my diabetes meds in a few months. And uh, oh, and you're listening not to your doctor, but you're listening to some quack workout guy. Well, this. Black workout guy's been you doing this for a long time. You don't listen to your doctors. Doctors just want to give you more pills, more meds. You want your doctors. Yeah. You know. Well, my doctor said that you want to get off the meds, stop eating carbs. 
<laughs> well, <laughs> uh, yes, but getting off the meds is a decision for you and your doctor to make, not you and your workout guy. No, oh, it's the workout guy is really pounding it in. No, I, but you're listening to the wrong people. Well, I, oh, look, I'm talking to you. You voted for Trump. Uh, you know, so. Talk for him again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hey, listen, I, I, I got some people waiting to come on here. Do you want, can you stick around a little bit? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, oh, it, you always, it's always like, well, don't let me beg you. Uh, oh, okay. Get on your knees. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let me see here. Uh, here comes Charlie. Here comes Alan. Char Charlie's around. He was uh, posting the death report. Yep. Yep. He's not uh, doing, uh, He's not uh, doing uh, a baseball right now, so, you know. Well, did they stop the baseball because of COVID? Is that... Uh... No, no. Uh, they stopped the baseball because why? It's not baseball time? Is that what it is, Charlie? Well, it's almost at the end of the season. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, October is... Uh, uh, Playoffs, yeah. The end, right? Yeah. Middle, middle of October? I think. Yeah. Yeah. But that's how he earns a living. He's working. And what am I doing? Uh, smelling fish? You know? Uh, yeah, I would say, yeah. <laughs> working six days a week. Uh, I get up at 4 a.m. Mm -hmm. and I got home tonight at 6. Yeah. Yeah. You know, but mm -hmm. um, I like getting up at 4 a.m. Oh, okay. Yeah. It, it, um, I go to the gym. I go to sleep at 4 a.m. Hmm? What, Charlie? I, go I like going to sleep at 4 a.m. I go to sleep. Oh. I go to sleep at about two, actually. He's all nocturnal guys. Alan's the same way. He he usually texts me about 4:30 and says he's going to sleep. <laughs> you know, I don't understand. I mean, that's because you're up having coffee. Wait, 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 hey, turn down your microphone. Yeah, that was loud. Really? Sorry. I, it's terrible. I didn't turn it down. It's terrible. You might have it, something click that says uh, uh, auto microphone or something. Every day. It could Every be. Get out. No, it's too low. I set it back to normal. I don't know why this thing loves to turn my volume up all the time. Yeah. <clears throat> yep. yep. So, Phil, just for your information... The iPhone X, a.k.a. 10, was the, other than the first iPhone, was the largest selling iPhone ever. 16 million of them were sold. <clears throat> uh, Verizon released them three, uh, oh, 11, 3, 17. Is that when I got this? Yeah. And so, uh, by the way, I have problems with talk to text, too. All the words come out, and I'm just too lazy to straighten them out, so I just send it in, you know. Mm -hmm. they, they need to work on that, and they know that it's a problem. We've talked about it a lot. So. Yeah, well, the other I day... Can, I, I can help you offline, redo your phone, re reinstall the software, and you won't lose anything. And yeah. it, maybe it'll straighten out some of your issues. Well, I had to have Dan call Verizon and... Uh, they told him to take the SIM card out uh, because I wasn't getting any vo voicemail messages. Is right. that? Yeah. And so uh, they, they took the SIM card out, they stuck it back in, and now it works. But he, well, I think what he did is he deleted Larry Elder's name off your phone and it worked. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. The polls are closed. We will soon see the numbers start changing. Yeah, they call those the 801 people, you know, because uh, the polls close at 8 o'clock, so at 801 they start counting. I, I think it's going to be a few days before we know the real outcome, personally. Well, like I told Alex earlier, uh, depending on what the outcome starts looking like, that's when the Democrats will start dumping uh, yeah. back. They'll all of a sudden find more ballots, you know. I'm still waiting to see proof of all that stealing election ballot stuffing that happened last November. Uh, I still haven't seen any proof of that. I'll send you the proof. 
Okay, the Arizona recount is in the mail. Well, yeah. he he'll send you the proof. What he'll do is actually send you a brochure from uh, uh, my pillow. So. <laughs> you know, I I was thinking about getting the my pillow, and I uh, clicked on it and asked for some information, and then I started getting uh, so many offers and uh from my it was to the point where i said i'm not buying this thing i don't care how good it is uh i'm being inundated it's supposedly with, a pretty crappy pillow you know alan says he likes them the best pillow i've ever slept on. i've been sleeping on my pillows for over five years hmm. They're uh, very they call durable. you every day <laughs> very durable i have i have four brand new ones and i have two the original ones that i bought and I, the four brand new ones are still in the package. Hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> well, but other other companies have come out with the same thing. All it is is memory foam cut into three or four different sizes, and it, it, you know, uh, soft, medium, and and firm. Then they put more and more in there, and they put a it in a pillow thing. Hmm. So, but. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I'm using one of those uh, cervical pillows that's a memory foam. Yeah, it, they're really hard on your neck, actually. Uh, not doing the job. Is this something your uh, fitness instructor recommended? No, no. Actually, uh, you recommended it. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Yeah. Well, I, I, I didn't tell everybody that Alan is my fitness instructor. No. <laughs> Are the COVID cases leveling off in New York, Alex? Uh, I don't know how they are right now, to be honest with you. Mm. I really I don't, don't know. Charlie? California, the, the Bay Area. I don't know about New York, but Texas, the level's highest it's ever been. We're at 28,000 new cases to date. Hey, Texas today, Charlie, it was unbelievable. Hey, Charlie, that's one way to change Texas from uh, red to blue. Seriously, that's what's happening. All these people dying, 255 of them a day. These are all Republicans. These are all unvaccinated Republicans. Uh, I don't know if it's just Republicans that aren't vaccinated. You know, uh, my body, my choice. Isn't that what they say? Yeah, yeah but you didn't believe it with women. Yeah. Hmm. Well, well, what do you got? Right, Come on, sing, sing, Jeff. What should I sing? I'm I don't know. Good, uh, I'm not a good singer. You're not. You got the right voice for it. Really? Wow. Yeah. So, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you could have been a cantor. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you're a rabbi. Part time. That's yeah. right. That's right. So you're going to fast, uh, you know, all the Jews on this thing. Once we got one, two, three, four <laughs> out of five uh, participants are Jews. You know, tomorrow is the eve of uh, Yom Kippur and Kol Nidre. Kol Nidre? Yes. Yeah. Pretty good. And, and Phil's going to start his fast like never. Yeah, well. He doesn't even show up to synagogue on Yom Kippur. Yes, I do. I'm uh, providing safety and security. Okay. Uh, uh, Wednesday night. Guarding the toilet, the, the porta potty, is not safety and security. Do you say that at one of your uh, uh, at this particular place that you do the uh, uh, your your thing? Yeah. That they um, that they had a problem. Yes, uh, they they had this guy. Uh, who I, I sent you the article? Uh, they they he was arrested, uh, but uh, I guess he's been making uh, t uh, threats and uh, uh, he's a Russian uh, Jew, and uh, he's been making threats against the shul, the shul and others. He uh, he was fired and he was disbarred, and uh, I, I guess the guy has a lot of problems. So uh, he he. Can you try to enter, enter the shoe. Uh, it's it's Ray. Ray. What? 
Wait a minute. Or an talk, echo, talk, Ray. Talk. Yeah. You you might have your browser on, Ray. There's something. No, it wasn't. A well, delay. Uh, tur turn your microphone back on, Ray. Ray. Can you hear me? Now you see. Now you see. see there's, a see, there's a problem. There's a problem. Oh, really? Yep. Okay. Yep. Uh, my, my uh, How's that? No, no. It's like, it's like it's an echo. Uh, this is the other one. Is that okay? I give I up. With it. Every everything is a technical problem here. I've been having all kinds of technical problems today. <clears throat> is that okay now? Uh, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, so uh, it, I wasn't there that night, but um, uh, Alan knows Hank, and uh, Hank used to be a bouncer at the Oasis uh, in the city, and uh, this guy tried to make entry, and uh, Hank took him out and called the cops, and uh, 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 he had gone to another synagogue down the street, um uh, uh, and uh, on, on near it's called the UC synagogue or something, and uh, uh, he he started uh, something there too. So the cops found him and they arrested him. I think he wasn't charged, but uh, he should have been charged. You know, th this is not the first time. You, you get Berkeley. Lucky. What do you want? Yeah. Uh, although you would think that they'd be, um, uh, you know, the people. Uh, other than the other Jews would be the ones that would be trying to, uh, you know, create a problem. But uh, I like your background. Let me uh, see what I can do. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> you know, what I, my goal uh, was to, uh, when I asked Ray for this background, was to uh, distribute it so that everyone would have the same background. <laughs> you know, and I, I sent it well, to... The him. only person that's not calling who has the real one tonight is Tony. So, oh, yeah. yeah. Nah, he'll call. No, he won't. Nobody's I, calling tonight. Look at this. No. Look at this. If you weren't, if you didn't stick around, Phil, look at, look. At, you know. no. Well, you got some pretty good guys there. Uh, you know, uh, uh, hey Ray, how's, yeah. your, how's your leg? Your well, knee. I, I got a, a big old brace on it. Yeah. And uh, doing my <laughs> physical therapy, but you know, the pain. The biggest thing is trying to sleep with this thing on. It itches like hell. Uh, it's gonna how take long? like a year to get better, apparently. Yeah, but how long do you have to leave the brace on? Uh, another few weeks, I think. Yeah. It just depends on how I'm doing. Yeah. So, well, hey, you know. I'm hey, sorry. Ray, how yeah. good was uh, Paris for you? Oh, I didn't go to Paris this time, but I've been to Paris many times. Oh, okay. But, uh, well, you were in France, didn't you say that? Yeah, I was in France, but we didn't go to Paris. Okay. So, what was it like? What, France? Yeah. Oh, I was beautiful i mean we, we were up in the alps my uh my nephew has a bike and ski store up there uh in ting which is near val d'azer and uh see, i love it there i'd like to live there it's the most beautiful place you know <laughs> and then I, we went I, to italy and all I over would, italy ray i was yeah. uh, uh, years ago i was working for a company and i had to go to a trade show uh, for two weeks every september in milan and yeah. I was in Paris, and I drove from Paris to Milan. And yeah. so when you go through the Mont Blanc Tunnel, you come out, and you're up at the top. You're at a place called Chamonix. Yeah. And, uh, mm -hmm. you're, looking, you're looking straight at the Matterhorn. And I said, if there's a heaven, and, uh, and this, this has got to be it. I had yeah. never something so beautiful as the as you know not only Chamonix but looking at the Matterhorn uh, yeah from that direction it was yeah I've been there it's it, I love it there too it's, I, yeah, every, there's so many beautiful places in I don't want to top me. both of you with that but I well he's just asking me questions I'm answering to Harlem or, oh yes he wants to no, top I was it. actually in Zermatt oh well yeah, I, yeah Zermatt's in Matterhorn's right there yeah yeah yeah, I've been there. It's super expensive. I had a hotel. I looked outside my window, and there's the Matterhorn. That's what we had. 
right out the window, like right out the bedroom window. Boom. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Zermatt, they don't have cars. In the winter, yeah. you are taken by horse-drawn sleigh. You know, what a place. But it's so expensive there in Zermatt. It's absolutely ridiculous. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. My oh, hotel so- looked over the Matterhorn Zoo in Disneyland. <laughs> oh, look who's there. There he is. The real I, wallpaper. I was in bed. I was in bed listening to you on Amazon Alexa. And I said, Alex, does he want cause? Oh, let me call. I ran upstairs. I am so disgusted, Alex, with these non vaxxers I can't take it. Yeah. Tell me about it. Yeah. So if if people have natural immunity because they had COVID. Uh, do you, why aren't they being counted in in the uh, in, in the mix of the number of people that uh, have immunity or have been back? What uh, raised? Uh, I, I don't know what just happened. Sorry, that was weird. Yeah. All I did was turn on a light. It's it's punishment for having uh, uh, Tony's background. Okay, you didn't say about that. Yeah, I didn't realize how bad the hub wallpaper was. <laughs> it was bad. Well, if Alan, question, uh, what's oh. that? Yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, the answer to your question is because they only have immunity to one strain. The vaccine gives them the immunity to multiple strains. Well, they have immunity to other strains besides the one that they had. So the MR, the MU variant. Yeah, uh, I thought that that was just for COVID-19. Uh, and why are they having a booster if the if the original vaccine uh, will protect against the variants? Because these anti-vaxxers aren't getting vaccinated, and so the, the, the uh, virus is staying out there and continuing to mutate. And also, the vax it starts to wear off. You know, like it dislodges from the RNA or whatever after a while. So you need it. Yeah, I, I I was supposed to get the third uh, the booster last week, and I canceled it. Oh, you and, did. Uh, the the reason I canceled it is that they said that after the sixteenth, the booster was going to have more uh, uh, things that it was protecting against. Is that true, Alan? No. No, it's you the same, the it's the same. It's the same vaccine. Smart. However, however, um, uh, who is it? Moderna said they are coming out with a booster. Yes. That it's also different. has the yearly flu shot included in it. Well, oh, really? Good. I can get one shot and get it both done then. Yeah. It'll be a while yet, Charlie. I'm going to get my flu shot. The, 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 the strange thing is the CDC put something out today. Yeah, I heard that. that saying that Pfizer will probably be the first to be released and then Moderna. People that have got Moderna okay. already got the two shot version, probably won't need Moderna until next year. That's what I, we might be good, Alex. That's what I was hearing on the CDC. Well, I already <laughs> got mine. But, well, yeah, but well, you got your third, so you, you double vax. I may get yeah, it anyway. Well, I want to get as many shots as possible. In we'll, see, we'll see what the know. FDA says about the people that are know. not immune compromised. Yeah getting their third shot yeah but uh, immune immune compromise they say that you can get it right now and uh that's why i did it i was kind of uh you know uh, on the wall when it came to being immune compromised i you know they said cancer active cancer well Well, we don't we you know i mean how, how how long is the amount of time between a cancer being active and not active five years there you go. You got to be cancer free for five years till they consider that you don't have cancer. Right. Oh, that's right. That's just a statistical thing. If you're if you're actively in treatment for cancer, it it lowers your immunity, chemotherapy, radiation, that type of stuff. And that's what they're looking at. Those people that are okay. active. Well, I don't give a shit. I use mine as an excuse. Yeah, I would have got it. You you should have. Fine. Got it. Yeah. it just. It, it just may not make a difference. You may have had enough immunity because they think they think Moderna, uh, the part of the reason that they think you won't, won't need it till next year is that Moderna is like the king of the hill right now. And people that are getting a third mm-hmm. vaccine are wasting their third vaccine. 
Now, why didn't they? So no. then, no. I, if, if if I need more vaccine, I'll get a fourth one next year. Absolutely, but Con, you can't go wrong with a shot. It can't. I ain't own people. Well, people are getting double vaccinated. I think. Well, I got a little bit ill this time. Oh, you had on the second on the last one, Alex. Yeah. You got tired? Oh yeah, yeah. I was like that on the first shot when I got my COVID. Yeah, yeah. I was tired that like next day or two. I was falling asleep. Yeah. Four days after my second shot, I well, I, I was pulled. falling asleep, but it was just because I was doing this show. So. I was just tired. I usually stay up, but I was just sleepy, like achy. Yeah. Well, with all the experts, experts here, here, I have, I have, I have, have a question. question. Yeah. If, yeah. if I, I, I took, I took Pfizer, Pfizer, can I, can I switch, switch to the, the other one? one? Yeah. Where, where's, yeah, that? Where's, where, where's that? Where's that? Where's that? Where's that from? What's wrong? Right, First of all, Ray, 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 Ray mute, mute yourself. yourself. Right. Okay. There yeah, you go. It, it's you. Uh, it's you, Ray. Yeah. There's. Uh, it's getting feedback. It's like a. It's not a harmon. Uh, like a loop or feedback. Mm-hmm. What was your question, Jeff? I'll raise My you. question is: I t- I took Pfizer, and I took the first and the second. So I'm getting close to, to the point where I'm going to get the third. The question is, do I have to take it Pfizer for the third yes. time, or can it's I best. switch? I think you got to take the same one, right, Alex? It's well, best. The, yeah, the FDA and the CDC in the next couple of days will be putting out the information. But right now they're saying don't mix Pfizer and Moderna. Right. So you, why would you want to take Moderna? I don't know. I'm okay. just asking. What, what was the difference between the Pfizer and the Moderna? Why why are they the carrier? The car- the, the the chemicals that carry the the vaccine, is my understanding. So, so but they don't they don't want because they haven't done a lot of studies on it, they don't want you to mix them. So yeah. but people have mixed them and not with bad results, but you know, yeah. when you mix them with a few hundred thousand people and you don't have bad results, that's fine. But if you mix them with millions of people, you may start seeing problems. And then you don't know if it was the Pfizer or the Moderna or what. So it's, you know, I don't okay. know. I, I think I think in, in time, it probably won't matter. That would be my guess. Yeah, because in time, we'll all be dead. <laughs> so we'll be pretty, oh, that's probably true. Wrong kiss, <clears throat> everybody get cremated at once, save some money. Yeah, it's yeah. over 65. That leaves Tony out. I, I, I need to know. I don't want to join my mom anytime soon. I mean, I love her, but I don't want to see her anytime soon. Nobody yeah. talks about the Johnson and <clears throat> the Seneca and all of those things. Aren't they on sale? What's that? <laughs> AstraZeneca <laughs> isn't approved <laughs> in this country. <laughs> Astra, AstraZeneca isn't approved in this country. Johnson and Johnson, the reason, I, it was the stupidest question I ever heard by anybody from the press. And they said uh, to the CDC, "Well, how come you're not saying anything about uh, the, uh, you know, the the, 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 uh, the time frame for the uh, Johnson and Johnson?" Well, there was a reason for that. The Johnson and Johnson came out about three or four months later than the other ones, so it isn't time to even talk about them about Johnson and Johnson yet. So they're they're thinking that the. Moderna against the Delta right now was uh, six to eight months out is still about 90% effective and Pfizer is about 80% effective and they're thinking Johnson and Johnson's about 60% effective <clears throat> so based on studies around the world so people that are on Johnson and Johnson are fine and Alex you got you got a very valid point I think they're looking into that it you know as long as People are getting protection from Johnson and Johnson. You know why? Why stir the boat? Well, I mean, but also, I mean, they didn't approve the Johnson right. and Johnson until about four or five months after the first That's, ones got approved. So, of course, they're not ready to say, okay, so, you know, it's eight months since the last yeah. Johnson and Johnson because the last Johnson and Johnson for most people was only maybe three, four m- months ago. You know. Yeah. You know, you're 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 getting hung up on eight months for all of them, and and the mRNA were is what the eight months has been looking at. 
mainly the, the, the studies they're using is the Israeli studies, and they used Pfizer exclusively in Israel. So they're thinking the Moderna is still a lot better than the Pfizer. And the Johnson & Johnson, you can't really clump into the eight-month thing because there hasn't been any studies done on it. Right. right. So, and, and, and like you said, it came out a lot longer later and probably still protecting good. Yeah. Where are the Israelis getting their data on Moderna if they used Pfizer exclusively? What's that? Well, how, how, is the, how are the Israelis getting their statistics on Moderna? They're not. They're, they're not. They're, they're not. not. They use Pfizer exclusively. We're doing the Moderna stuff, and Moderna looks like it's still stronger than Pfizer. It wasn't originally, right? No. Uh, half a point difference, like uh, yeah. 94 and a half to 95 percent. Which one did you get, Phil? I got the Pfizer. I got. Right. The- we got a B talent. <laughs> Oh, you'll be all right, though. Half a we're, we're gonna, yeah, we'll get our vaccine. You see, it, you'll see in the next couple of days, Pfizer will be the first one released to get a third vaccine. She's just gonna get your booster. No, yeah. he, he's anti-vax. He's not gonna get his booster now. They want him to get the first. Really? Oh, uh, the no, nah, I was gonna get the v- booster, but I thought that maybe enough time didn't go by. I'm feeling pretty wrong, and uh, you know, I I figured. Maybe I wasn't doing myself the the best service by getting it early, and that's right. That's that, right. You know, I should have waited. You know, wait a little and uh, yep. get it when it's going to give you the longest amount of protection. I love these people who are saying they're waiting for all the evidence to come in. What well, evidence? We um, how many millions of people have had this shot and they're not growing it's a third not arm? Not you know <laughs> it's crazy you know these and it's are not turning the democrats into republicans these people so are morons and they're also killing other americans by doing by not taking it absolutely you know? and now the kids are getting hit really hard with yep yep, yep. if the anti-vaxxers join the crowd early on mm-hmm. in the first six months remember yeah. your boy trump dr trump who did yeah. say no. that children didn't get it I, yeah, he did say that. Remember that? Yeah. He's uh, that time, children weren't getting it. I yeah. think they just weren't testing them, Phil. Probably. Oh, uh, it's they weren't getting it in the first uh, version. Now we're in the yeah, fourth or fifth the version, and it, the the, the very uh, just a hmm. lot different. Yeah. So you know, I mean. You can't hold them to that statement uh, now that well, time... Well, you know, when are you going to give up on Donald Trump? When are you going to admit... Wait. Like, for instance, we got a, a, a general now. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm trying to remember his name now. Hold Kelly? on. Uh, what's his name? Kelly. Yeah. Yeah. Up Afghanistan or helped to do that? Oh, that wasn't the boss. No, no. This is... Uh, hold on a second. Right. This is while Trump was getting ready to leave office and he was afraid that Trump might push the codes or in the, in the football to send missiles over to somewhere. Yeah, well. Yeah, he's been in the news today. Biden yeah. will sell them to the Chinese. No, uh, well, he was he's, saying. He uh, circumvented. Uh, he changed the code so Trump couldn't take the football and push the buttons in the middle book of Book bombshell. <laughs> General feared Trump would use nukes in last days. China believed that attack was imminent. Okay, so that's how country. close we came to it because of your little boy there, Phil. Yeah. Well, China China believes a lot of stuff. No, 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 th- no. This was a general who was afraid of it. You know, one of the Joint Chiefs. Yeah. Yep. And they Under had Trump. a plan. They had a plan in case he tried to do that. That's right. It um, looks it's falling apart too. Look, I'll go ahead, Ray. This Mark, was, I was just listening to the whole um, sequence of events on that. So uh, Nancy Pelosi talked to Mackey and tried to convey to him that she was very concerned about what Trump's actions might be given his uh, stance on the January 6th situation. And yeah. um, he talked with her for a long time. There's actually uh, Woodward and Bernstein actually have a... Uh, 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 not a recording, but a transcript. No, it's of the not entire Woodward and Bernstein. It's Woodward and the other guy. He's oh, the other guy. Yeah. yeah, and um, 
Yeah, so Mackie uh, had a long conversation with her. He ended up like agreeing with her, and so he decided to call the generals together just to say, please don't do anything if Trump orders it militarily until I'm involved. That's all. And then, and then, and then, and then he, and then uh, the Chinese contacted him, and he assured them that everything was going to be fine. Yeah, that doesn't sound as bad as you made it originally, Alex. What do you mean it doesn't sound as bad? Hey, they were just a <laughs> How that much worse does it get than that? Than that the the, uh, the Joint Chiefs of Staff are worried that this president's going to go rogue on them, right? Always. Yeah, Mackey was say, you know, Mackey and Pelosi both felt that was a possibility, and they needed to do something to prevent it from happening. And they did. Yeah. Yep. I mean, I and think that's general, just natural. General. I mean, they're supposed to defend the, against enemies, foreign and domestic. Yep. I mean, I, when are you going to give up on Trump? When the fuck are you going to give up on Trump? When you start liking him. <laughs> He's going to run again. Yeah, when, I mean, when, he, when even you know, if you like him, even if you like him, Phil, I mean, the way he was acting that day, I mean, I think anybody would probably want to just make sure he wasn't losing it, even if yep, even if he wasn't. I don't think he was. Yeah, but see, like, you not be sure. You can't be sure because of, like, that speech he gave afterwards and the fact that he didn't do anything about it for hours and the fact that he kind of like him and Giuliani and the other guy were like inciting nope, people to go over there. I agree. That's probably a, a good thing to have some contingency plans. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> I think that's all they did. I mean, because they didn't do anything. They didn't do anything. Uh, but the, the fact it, it, that uh, they, they were, weren't going to do anything unless he took like extreme steps. Well, But that's here's all, the thing. The fact that they were worried that he might and that they yeah. had to have a contingency for that. You have a contingency for everything, you know? You don't uh, have a contingency for a president like who goes rogue. It's like the Chinese thought that the bomb was imminent. Phil, if, the, if they felt that he was going to go rogue, isn't that enough for you to say maybe there was something a little off about this guy? Oh, maybe the Chinese had flipped the uh, second to the last switch on their missiles coming this way and we're waiting yeah. for Trump to go rogue. You know, and uh, it, it's, it, I think going rogue or thinking he was going to go rogue was an overreaction. Oh, and, uh, you know, uh, really? Pelosi has overreacted to everything that Trump has done. But it wasn't just Pelosi. It was it was this general. general. Uh, I, how, was, how was it an overreaction? I mean, he was... Um, he, he encouraged the people to go now, down there. Giuliani actually said to be violent, and so did the other guy after Giuliani. You know, and then I'm, Trump didn't do anything for hours, and then he was saying that he loved them. Yeah. I, I uh, mean, how is that not... That's just weird to me. I don't, I don't care if it was a Democrat or Republican, whoever said that. No, I don't know. I wonder if they've done this for other presidents quietly. Maybe. Maybe. I, what I, about I mean, Reagan was pretty out there well, now reagan reagan was uh, his only problem was is that he really didn't have his wits about him i mean he yeah. was already well into alzheimer's by the time he, he left couldn't office. remember who you were Biden. what what about nixon when uh, in his last days do you think that uh, uh you were with the football uh, i don't know Maybe. i don't know god these are all republicans what's up with this it has to be after the nuclear age because that's when, you know, annihilation is the right. threat. Um, well, the nuclear age started when? When we when we set off the first well, atomic bomb. Well, when you've got the, uh, when you've got the uh, uh, you know, the generals worried about this thing, yeah. you got to know that there's a, there's a definite problem there. And I don't it know why me... you, you constantly defend this guy who has been shown to be completely off the, off the hook. Well, that that's your opinion. What do you mean it's yeah. my opinion? How many agree with that opinion? Would you raise your hand, please? Well, that, well, that, day, that, wasn't that day, I was worried. That, that wasn't just was my opinion. I mean, with the whole thing about the election being rigged, it was stolen, yeah. uh, you know, go down there. Oh, and, shut up, Steve. Let your voices be heard. Bill is going to be saying the election stolen again in California. Stolen again in California. Oh, Phil, do you believe the yes, presidential election is stolen? Do you actually believe? You don't believe that, do you? Uh, By the way, the headline right now at uh, at uh, uh, what do you call it? At uh, on Drudge is. Are you ready for this? Big red letters. Newsom wins in blowout. 
Yay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. NBC News just predicted Newsom will win big time. Big time. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, God, we would have ended up with that elder. That's, that would have been insane. They call that bigly. Very. Yeah, maybe he made that word a bigly. He does you make know, a big you know, word. Phil, you should have oh, got, you you got your third vaccine, Phil. <laughs> if elder that. got in office, he'll screw that up. Yeah. Well, Phil, I, I think you ought to move to Florida. Elder. And what oh, this is oh. going to do, what is what this is going to do, is it's going to come back to blow back on the Republicans in California, because if Newsom had power before, oh now he's man. really got power now. I make their life fucking miserable, really, if I could. He comes up for re-election next year. There's yeah. only four Republicans. I whoever I want, and I'm but one. You know, of but you know what the problem is, though, Alex? I was listening. I could have I could have heard it wrong, but I was just the 10-10 <laughs> wins this morning. And I, would, I think they said that Larry Elder was already saying that the election was rigged out there. And oh, Trump that, is yes. going to be He was that. already Same. truncating this even before he knew it was going to be. See, this is what I'm saying. They're putting these false flags out there. Yep, constantly. Well, he actually uh, posted on his website yesterday that Newsom had won and that he had rigged the election. This, yeah. He's he came out keep early. getting away with this. It was California it has Perry California Elder has, one has of sex with ponies. I mean, he's a weirdo. Well, California here, let, me, let, me, let, me, uh, let me let me throw this one out about uh, something Larry Elder said last week, that the uh, slave owners during um, uh, slavery, uh, when this when it was abolished, uh, were deprived of their income, and the whites and the relatives of the whites who had their slaves taken away from them are due reparations. Yeah, that was great. Wow. I heard that. I heard him say that. Yeah. yeah. That was a wild. Yeah, that was very crazy. <laughs> especially, especially, also, He's because they already got reparations. Right. They well, were. They were given they reparations were. in right after. Well, that. anyway, the point I'm making here is this from a black guy. Yeah, yeah I know. Really? It's, it's like, like, it's like it's Candace Owens. Mark? Candace Owens is the same way. Man. He keeps it's trying to say, I, I, was, I, was, I was raised in the ghetto. Oh, good. Really? Okay. <laughs> you know. You can take the boy out of the ghetto, but you can't take the ghetto out of the boy. I wasn't raised in the ghetto. He no. sold his ghetto. soul, man. Maybe I was present to sing that song. Yeah. But I'm glad that Newsom didn't only just win this one. He, it's a blowout, is how no. Drudge puts it's gonna be, it. It's going to be a few days before it's official. And you know, if Drudge right. puts out blowout on his page, to go to his page it's now, a right? blowout. Yeah, it, so. Elder Fox, already said he will not concede, just like Trump. Fox News has just said that they believe Newsom will win. <laughs> <laughs> Even the Republicans are, are, are uh, they want to keep their advertising money up. Oh, my God. Oh yeah, it's on his name. So, yeah. Oh, uh, Alex, I just I was just looking, and uh, it says uh, Governor Cuomo state COVID nineteen mandates are lifted. Uh, uh, really? Well, yeah, they, may, uh, they may be lifted. The they may news. be lifted because they're no longer needed. No, they uh, it's. It, Phil, do you realize Phil has spent the better part of the last half hour trying to prove himself right? Well, no, and I just now he's finding anything that even says something remotely close to that. In defense of Phil, when it comes to politics, he's totally off base. When it comes to other things, he's right on, for the most part. Yeah, yeah I, I know that's true. That's true. Mm-hmm. It's true. It's you can true. send me a check later, Phil. It must be true, Trump said. <laughs> Um, <laughs> but it is true. It is true. No shit. He's a he's a really smart guy. His politics, eh? But you know. Oh, I don't know that he's a smart guy. I think you're pushing <laughs> oh. it on that one. <laughs> Mentally challenged? No, he. Well, won't I call him a nice guy. <laughs> Imagine he's losing money. They got to pay him when he comes out. <laughs> you should see the stuff he says about you, Alex. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But I, I um, uh, by the way, my newest thing is, is that I, I, you know, I've been taking these drugs and they've gotten to the point mm. where they're really starting to affect me. I'm having a hard time remembering stuff. 
you know it's why you, terrible why don't you ask your doctor to rather lower the dose or change it to a i already medicine. lowered the dose once it was well, you know alex my, my dad is taking the same thing and the same thing's happening to him yeah and, and, and i told older, i told him about you and he's not doing anything about it yeah, as you get older most people can't tolerate the same dose they could 10 years earlier or whatever mm. so well, yeah, my goal is to get off of as many of the drugs that I'm taking as possible. Yeah, yeah listen to your listen to your uh, what should we call it, guy? Yeah, but anyway, your, I'm 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 just uh, uh, you know I, I, so today uh, last night I decided not to take it, and I couldn't sleep. Okay, wow. so then I took a uh, Xanax to put me to sleep, and then I was drugged all day. Uh, you know, it's a terrible thing. I, I don't know what I'm going to do about it. But it, it, yesterday, I went in and I, I bought a new iPad. And they asked me, uh, what is your PIN number? Huh. You know, a PIN number for uh, whatever. Mm -hmm. And uh, I couldn't remember my PIN number. Because how I remember it is as an alpha not as a numeric and they were handing me this thing with just nothing but numbers on it. Oh, okay. That should be like my and I couldn't remember it. I just couldn't get my brain around it to come up with the number. I finally did. But that worried me. You know? I mean yeah. is this thing I got a lot of different passwords. I would be yeah. concerned too. I can't remember any of the passwords anymore. That's why I write them down. I, I, I some, <clears throat> well, get to write them down. <laughs> you know. well, I'll tell you what's really yeah. a pain in the ass, without question, is this two-step verification bullshit. Oh, I don't do it. I don't do it. Don't what do you mean right? you don't do it? Some places won't let you not do it. Do it. Like oh, banks, really? for instance, they, ref they force you to do it. Yeah. They say for, uh, after a certain date, you have to have two-step verification. So I'm sitting here, and I have to have a cell phone to yep. get my my number from for two-step verification suppose i don't own a cell phone then they'll send it to me an email There's suppose an email. i don't have an email it's a, it's a headache can you open the window yet? you have to send it by the post so mail. phil this guy wants you to create your own menus i mean didn't you just leave the guy a menu from burger king and circle whoppers oh, <laughs> not what he wants <laughs> Oh, by the you way, here, here, here is some of the uh, uh, turnout here. 88% for Gavin in San Francisco. What else is it? Yeah. 76% <laughs> in L.A. 61% in San Diego. But Orange County. That's a blowout. Uh, Orange County is, tends to be a Republican strong. I know. And by the I way, have. this is another happy piece of news. I just saw this. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let me go look at this. Hold on a second, folks. Fake news. Uh, Bob Enyart yeah. uh, used his um, conservative media platform in Denver to mock those who died of AIDS by name. Oh, yeah. He died. A call today. for women who receive abortions or face uh, to face a death penalty. Recently, the talk show host, who has successfully sued the state over mask mandates and capacity limits in Colorado churches last year, joined a chorus of conservative voices who have bashed the coronavirus vaccine and vowed to stay unvaccinated. Uh, unvaccinated. Well, guess what? What happened? He, di he died of COVID. Thanks, Ma. God <laughs> has spoken. Yeah. I'm glad. I don't. I don't want to be mean. I'm kind of glad. I don't wish it on the guy, but look at all the. Oh, hard I wish it on the guy. I wish it yeah. on the guy. Oh, I, I do you, too. I mean, I'm not going to lose any sleep. I'll, I'll, tell, you why, like I'll tell you why I wish it on the guy, because this guy, by saying what he was saying on the air to some mm. very uninformed people, made them not go out and get vaccinated. Yep. Okay, he and thereby him. may have caused a lot of deaths on his own before mm -hmm. his came along. You're right. Yep, I agree. And which is not good. What's his name? Asshole. It's all yeah. over the news today, right? Oh, okay. I just, uh, his yeah. name is uh, Bob <laughs> Enyard. I never heard of him, but he's <laughs> the fifth <laughs> one. People have the right to think whatever they want. And if they Phil, suffer... Phil, he's a broadcaster. He has a responsibility to his audience to protect them stop MSNBC from saying what they say. Well, like what? What do they say? What do they 
What do they no. say, what do they say that's dangerous to the health of people? He's not going to be able to quote because he doesn't listen. To no, he. It, come on, what do they say, Phil? You know, I'm thinking more about what they've said negatively about Trump that wasn't true. And no, uh, that, Phil, Phil, forget that. That's not what we're talking about here. Well, yeah, we're talking no, about death. I think that people yeah, should have their own opinion, and if it's not your opinion, and they suffer the consequences. No, we're talking about people who he had probably caused to die because of his misinformation that he was giving out on the air. That's misinformation because you don't know any, that anybody died from his information. I would be willing to bet yeah. there was at least one. Your, okay. your, your theory has no Phil, grounds. Phil, Phil, you're saying then that you don't think that him giving out that kind of information caused the death of anyone? He's got an audience. Huh? People have a choice. As Phil, to what they uh, Phil, oh. I'm not saying that. People listen to radio. They think the information they're getting is right, that the guy wouldn't be lying to him on radio and whatever. All of a sudden, all those dings, by the way, are all the news items that are coming yep, through I'm here getting them too. saying yep. that Newsom Fox has news, won. Fox News just changed their stance. They said that he won. <laughs> He's in office. I love it. I think it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, all the clicks, all the noises he's getting, I'm getting ABC, mm. AP. They all said that he won, and Fox News agreed. Mm -hmm. uh, I got a lays in office. Yes, uh, Ray. I, I, what amazes me about this guy Enyart is they're willing to take their fanaticism so far that they're willing to like risk their own lives and die. Or their fanaticism. Well, here's the thing. I have no problem if he kills himself. It's no, but isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? Yeah, though? it's kind of it's it's crazy. To Here, hear that. Yeah. Here's the thing. These people go on the air as talk show hosts, and they <laughs> act like everything they say has got to be right and the truth. Okay, take it from me. Don't take those that vaccine. It's going to grow a third arm on you. Mm. Is whatever. that really what he said? Do you know what he said? No, no I. Uh, it says here he joined a chorus of conservative voices that have bashed the coronavirus vaccine and vowed to stay unvaccinated. That's yeah. what he said. To his grave. No, still unvaccinated. Right to the grave. <laughs> but we can't hear Phil because... Uh, Harry said that she wasn't going to take the vaccine either because it was introduced by Trump and she didn't trust it. So, you know, it, it, now her... Thing, couldn't that have also killed Who said that? Who said that? Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris? Yeah. I, I've never heard. I mean, no, I she. We have it on video where she got her vaccine. She still. was. She was. She was. But she said that as long as those vaccines were introduced by Trump, that she was not going to trust them. And that's not uh, what she said. That's not what she said, Phil, according to no. Charlie. Charlie, what did That's she the say? Doctor. She said if Fauci and the CDC vouch for it, she would take it. Yeah, that's what I thought she said, yeah. Right. She said no, You're wrong, to... Phil. You're wrong. Whoever released it, we don't care. It's like he was trying to push the vaccine before the CDC was willing to say it was okay. Yeah, it was called experimental. But the the thing is is that she said that she wasn't gonna trust it. And her actions were no different than the Phil, action. at the time that she made that statement, the vaccine wasn't available. Was. At the time that you claim oh, that she made those statements, the vaccine was not available. That's right. You know, uh, I don't I don't know where I'm going to find it, but I'll find you it. You won't, of course. You'll, it, it was over a year ago she made those statements. Yes, yep. it was during the summer. Well, Go to yes. conservatives don't know their ass from a hole in the ground dot com. Uh, <laughs> the vice president of the United States. Put a day on that. Save that dot com. I don't know what happens with Here's your... what she said. I have it right here. It says, "I will, I will say that I would not trust Donald Trump on the reliability of the vaccine." Uh, I would tr I added that she would trust a credible source who could vouch that a vaccine was safe for Americans. There. To receive. Right, but. She, uh, she said she wouldn't trust she wouldn't trust Trump, but she would trust somebody like a Fauci yeah. who was That's a credible a source. Credible source, yeah. Yeah. FDA, well, CDC, Fauci, somebody pardon? like that. Yeah. So 
I mean, that's what it said. That's the quote. Uh, so, Stalin. everybody have a drink. Phil was wrong again. Oh, <laughs> 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 the vaccine if it came from Trump. And so, no, if he's if he was the only one that said it was safe, but if it was credible sore, others source said, said it was safe. She said it would she would take it. Others said it was safe, but you know the thing is credible source. Look, there's a lot of people that would support uh, Kamala Harris in her uh, in her opinions, and she could have killed people just like Alex is saying that this talk show host. Made no, a stick. no, no, the no, wasn't no, even available no. when she said it. Matter. Republicans are not going to listen to her. And I'm by the way, not. by the way, at the no, same man. time that she was saying that, Phil, she also said, wear a mask. Yeah, well, and <laughs> Trump told so people good. last week to get vaccinated and they booed him. And yeah. they're not, and they're still not listening to him. <clears throat> Nobody yeah. listens to him. What the comparison was, whether there was a vaccine available or not, uh, you got Kamala. Phil, Harris. don't try to make. Uh, you're That's trying. Nice. You're trying to change the whole nature no, of what no, was no. said and wasn't said and when it was said. And Way the fact is available. that if Kamala Harris was one of the first political people, one of the first people in the administration to sit there as a photo op and get the needle sh stuck in her arm. But a day before, or a few days before, she said she wouldn't trust it if it came from Trump. No, if it came Trump. from Trump. Oh, well, yeah, that's what he's saying, Trump. Well, I yeah, wouldn't that's... either. Yeah, <laughs> if if right, Trump... The vaccine didn't come yeah, from yeah. Trump. If Trump oh. sold a vaccine and the CDC said it oh. wasn't safe, I wouldn't take look, it. Look, at, look right. at what Alex is saying about this talk show host. Mm -hmm. A lot of people with misinformation. Yeah. And Saying, well, I'm, I, he got what he deserved. What misinformation did Kamala Harris get? She said if it came he, from Trump he, and not from a credible source, she would uh, not take yeah. it. She How's that misinformation? He instilled fear. Phil, and, you're trying to make you're trying to make a case uh, where there is no case to be made. Uh, fear mm. and doubt. Fear and doubt. <laughs> Phil this will was never. Like months, this was so many months before. This was like yeah. the vaccines were just being talked about. They had, they had come out. They they had been in. Twenty. Well, they hadn't come out. No, they hadn't. It was uh, mm -hmm. September, twenty twenty. No, right. they came out till they January. They just started oh. testing them and test people in September. September twenty twenty. Wasn't that at the beginning of the testing? Yeah. Like the middle yeah. of it. That's correct. The beginning of it. Yeah, we didn't start giving out the uh, the actual vaccine until. Uh, January, January of this year. So I think your point was is she didn't want to take it until uh, it was it was said it was to be safe when by like did, the CDC. When did Kamala Harris make that statement? And it's uh, Kamala. September fifth, September fifth, twenty twenty. And when did they start? Uh, when did they start testing? Oh, well, I don't know when they start testing. I thought you said September twentieth. No, she, she, I don't know. I don't know. It's, I, I'm just saying, I see the date of when this She was. said September basically 5th. she wasn't going to listen to Trump, but she would yeah. listen to a, yeah, a right. medical authority. Yeah. Yeah. That's what yeah. the bottom line is. I mean, she was being political. Yeah. Yes, sure. very political. And she, I agree. all right, all right, well, Phil, Phil, Phil just admit you're wrong and we'll have them with it, okay? <laughs> Trump was telling people to take hydroxychloroquine. <laughs> Anyway, never you are yeah, wrong. and 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 we're all gonna take and, and, and bleach we need to take bleach well tomorrow anyway yeah. and yeah, don't forget to take the uh, don't forget to take the horse dewormer <laughs> anyway <laughs> hey listen we gotta go here we're running out of time here uh, that's our citizen panel for tonight phil thank you so much for sticking around i appreciate it so that we could just bye you know, phil vilify you love constantly you, we love you phil uh yes charlie wallace thank you thank you alan thank you jeff thank you ray and thank you to uh, tony everybody give a big wave goodbye and i give a big wave goodbye back at you okay there they go ladies and gentlemen that's our uh, that's our citizen panel for tonight uh, if i'm a little out of sync here please excuse me but there's something wrong with this uh, this camera. I don't know what it is. I can't figure it out. So I won't uh, try and do anything about it. Anyway, that's it for tonight. I'll see you again tomorrow night. Uh, we'll be here at 1030 Eastern Daylight Time. Uh, the same, oh, excuse me, Eastern Time. Uh, same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her. 
Okay. All right. Bye-bye. And by the way, hey, 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 get a vaccine or wear a mask or do something. Don't listen to Phil.